I can hear you now. Don, how do I get rid of fleas and ticks in my yard? Um, okay, this is my fourth year out here. You see, I have plenty of woods around. When me and my daughter would come out and look at this place, I would walk from a little road right up here, just down here, up through here. Of course, it was a thicket then. You couldn't hardly walk through it. But every time I would, I'd get covered in ticks. Um, one trip out, like I said, I just, you could almost, well, if the leaves weren't here, you'd see the road right in there. Walk through, just right up through here. 19 ticks off me that, um, that uh, evening when I got home. My daughter stayed on the road and she got seven ticks. Every time I come out here, I just get covered. So as I got this cleared, uh, I started using this Eliminator Ant Flea Tick Killer Plus Granules. I use the 16,000 square foot bag. Um, use a spreader just like this. I've had this in four years. I keep it on four unless I get a hopper full and I'm going around the house and I'll set it up five. I lay it on really thick when I'm going around the house. It's best to do this right before it rains. It has a 20 pound bag. Keeps insects away for up to two months. Now I have a, have a, um, uh, not a problem, but issue. Uh, and we'll use fast acting odor free from. I do this before a rain, and we're supposed to get some rain tonight. Um, I'm, I do put this out, like it says, about every two months. Um, I put it out in early March. Here it is, almost the 10th of May now. Um, I got two ticks off the dog last week, two off me this week. So that means that stuff is wearing off. So, I don't know, everything blurry? Oh, I may have wiped it, hold on. That better? I don't know, it looks blurry to me. Maybe I ain't got my glasses on. If it's blurry, I'll have to redo this video, I guess. I don't know how y'all are about blurry stuff. Uh, wipe her off one more time. Well, it was kind of with a damp t-shirt. Okay. Um, still looks blurry to me. Maybe it's just the grass and all that. So anyway, um, I've used this going on four years. I love this stuff. Uh, the thing is, when I first started buying it, it says it would be good up to... Uh, I think four months. It's four or five months. I put it out twice a year. Then it went the following year or year after that. It went down to good for up to three months. And last year I noticed the bag says now it's up good up to two months. So, uh, and the price is still like, uh, I think when I first started buying it, it was $8 a bag. Now it's 12 something a bag. But the price is kind of staying the same or going up a little bit but the uh, obviously the the effective amount of chemicals or pesticides in there is going down so I, I have that issue with the eliminator but it works so I put it out every two months I went from putting it out twice a year to um, about four times a year now three three or four times I'll probably put it out this is like say about the first week of May I'll probably put it out again around July, and I'll be done for the year. So, um, but I put it on pretty heavy. What I'll do is, that hopper, I'll take one little patch of the yard, one hopper, I'll walk back and forth, spread it thing. Then I'll get another hopper, I'll take another little patch of yard, go over it, and Till that hopper's gone, and then I'll go around the house with one full hopper, and I'll usually turn it up to five. I let it pretty thick around the house. Now, this says it will get rid of uh, ants, fleas, and ticks, and then on the back there's some uh, list of other stuff it's supposedly get rid of, like spiders. Um, I still have spiders. I still have ants. But I'm telling you, for fleas and ticks, this is the stuff to get. Uh, I don't, I don't try to make one bag go a whole acre. Sixteen thousand square feet is about a third of an acre. I think forty, 
42 or 44,000 square feet is an acre. So this is about a third. And I probably put it on a little heavier than that. Let me show you um, how I do it. Okay, so what I usually do is cut the bag open. Yeah, I know it has an easy zip thing there, but by the time you mess with that, it comes out the bag open. I don't plan on saving any of it. So, take a little cut. Fill my harper up. And pick me out a little spot out in the woods, and I go to town. Another thing you want to be careful of is the dust off this. I would um, sometimes there's a lot of dust that comes off of it, so you want to make sure it's not blowing back in your face and stuff like that. So I'll have the rest of this to do. I've done use one bag up around the house in the yard and stuff. So now I'll get down here in the woods on my property and fit, put another bag out. So like I said, it's supposed to rain tonight. So. Uh, if you're looking to get rid of fleas and ticks and like I said, this says ants, but <laughs> I put it out for four years. I still have had ants, uh, all types of ants. So I don't think it works that good. Maybe on some types it does, but I still got ants. So, but for fleas and ticks, that's what I buy it for. I don't buy it for anything else. If you got flea and tick problems, um, I had fleas on the dog the first year. I'd take him, wash him, uh, take him to the sitter. He'd be great, bring him back out here. Within a few days, he'd have fleas on him. That's when I realized I had fleas in the yard. Started using this stuff, and his fleas went away. You know, no more fleas on him when he's around the yard and stuff. This stuff is great. So, I can't recommend this enough. So, if you got fleas and ticks, give it a try. Okay, here's the... Uh, back side of that bag you know the the uh, first aid stuff um you can put it around your vegetables uh here's the information of how many days after you spread it can you harvest stuff um unless you're getting ticks on you every time you go out in the garden i, I personally wouldn't use it in my garden just that's just me though um spreading tips now up here is the um what they recommend per pound i don't know what type of sprayer i got it's a scotch but i doubt it's on there but i don't care like i said i use that handheld one if i had a bigger one that'd be great i don't don't need one that gets the job done uh i'm trying to see Direction for use. Now there's your directions for use. I ain't gonna read them off to you. Uh, fire mounds. It says for fire ants, mole crickets, centipedes, millipedes, and pavement ants, Argentine ants, black turf ants, black turf grass something I don't have my glasses on so fleas including cat fleas leaf hoppers well you know what I get leaf hoppers if, if what they're calling leaf hoppers a grasshopper I get those still spiders including brown reclose spiders and ticks including brown dog ticks like I said I still get spiders I still get ants I don't get ticks and fleas so maybe maybe I just need to 
you want to buy 2.4 pounds of this product per 1,000 square feet covers. 4 ounces over a 100 square foot area. Irrigate water thoroughly immediately after the application. Now, if you have water hose or a sprinkler system, you could throw this out anytime and water it in. Maybe that's my problem with ants and stuff. I'm not putting out heavy enough. I'm putting out pretty doggone heavy, though. The bag covers more than 16, uh, less than 16,000 square feet. But anyway, so that kind of gives you the idea. Again, I get this at, at um, Walmart. Wondering if I could find what the active greed is. I'm sure it's on here someplace. But I ain't reading this whole back of this thing. Some of y'all like to read that whole back of them bags and stuff. I, I've done it before. That's why I knew that it said it would kill ants and spiders and stuff like that. But I still got spiders. But, I, like I said, the only reason I use this is for protecting fleas. And that's what it works great on for me. So, anyway. Uh, if y'all have that problem, use it. Uh, maybe it does work for spiders and other stuff for you just check it out it's this is like 12 bucks a bag now so anyway we'll catch y'all later thank you for watching